Well, my name is Dr. Janine Mobley. I'm currently the Pharmacy Technology Program Chairperson, and um, I've been a pharmacist for 10 years now. So currently our program offers the Diploma Track, which is more of a shorter um, track for the program. The, and then the option, other option is the degree track, which is the Associate Degree of Applied Sciences. Um, both of them lead to being a pharmacy technician. Um, but the awesome thing about our program is that we really, really provide our students with a lot of hands-on training so that when they go work in any pharmacy, any area of pharmacy, they're prepared and positioned to do the applied work. They also get the didactical, which is the um, book information, but they also get a lot of applied work so that when they go in for the first day on the job, although they may be learning something new on the system, they'll learn a lot more and they'll be able to actually start working. Well, anybody who gets excited about medications and where they're coming from, um, our program actually gives them that good baseline, that great start. Um, one of the more exciting things is when we get to the applied part where we actually start working in the lab. A lot of our students are, although timid by preparing um, IV solutions that you see in the hospital, they actually end up going on to enjoy it because you actually get to actually prepare the medications that the patient will actually receive in the hospital. Um, the other part is that we're actually enhancing um, um, what we have here now in terms of our lab. So it gives the student like that real live experience of being in, in this case, the community pharmacy and then on the hospital side, they get experience with that as well. Although there are many other pharmacy technician training programs, every program is not PTCB recognized as a training program. Our program just received notice that we are currently and have been um, selected to be one of PTCB's recognized training programs. So all of our graduates who complete our program starting in 2020 will be eligible to sit and test for the Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam. In the area of pharmacy, we've had actually graduates of our program go on to major universities and colleges to get their actual PharmD, their doctorate of pharmacy, just as I have, and go on to actually be pharmacists. Um, we have some students who actually go on to get um, bachelor's degrees so that they can actually run the program and sit in the seat of the rector or chair, such as I'm in right now, in terms of a leadership position. So those are the opportunities that the associate track will allow you to matriculate into compared to the diploma program. One of the things that we do here at Albany Tech in our program is we not only prepare the student to work in Albany, Georgia, but we prepare our students to work in California, in Michigan, in anywhere that they can actually become a licensed pharmacy technician. So you can work in corrections, you can work in retail, what we know as like Walgreens, CVS, Walmart. You can work at an independent pharmacy. In fact, our former chair is now the owner of an independent pharmacy in Bakington, Georgia. We prepare our students to work in any environment, in any hospital. Um, some of our students have the opportunity, once you graduate as a technician, you can work in a specialty area so that there's actually a pharmacist for those of us who are familiar with cancer patients. Those cancer patients receive what we know as chemotherapy. There's a pharmacy technician and a pharmacist that is responsible for preparing those medications. Patients can be emergent and also our pharmacy technician students are in the position where they can prepare crash carts. So if you've ever seen any type of medical show whether it's the resident for those of us who are a little more seasoned ER um, Chicago Med where you see where people have um, actually coded or they stop breathing that actual tray that actually has those medications the pharmacy prepares that there's a technician who actually fills that box and is responsible for ensuring that it's always filled and prepared so that when a patient does go down the medical staff and nursing staff can work to get the patient back alert and alive. So if you're looking for a career option that will allow you to work in multi-different areas and have great experience, if you're really seeking to a program to get actually applied experiences so that when you go out into the work field, you are more than prepared um, to work, then this is the program for you.